My name is Pete. I'm walking you through the top five pivot table mistakes and how to fix them. If you have trouble getting started with pivot tables or find them hard to use, then stick around so you can understand this awesome tool and how it can help you solve problems and get the job done. Let's get started right now. The most common error when you create a new pivot table is this one that says that the pivot table field name is not valid. And this is because not every column in your data set has a header. And this can be hard to identify if, for example, two columns are merged together, as we have here. In this case, you would want to go up here to the Home tab and unmerge the two columns, and then delete the blank column and or add a column header. And now I'm going to reinsert that pivot table by highlighting the data, going to Insert, Pivot Table, and selecting where I want it in the spreadsheet. And now that we have added that column header, we no longer get the error and can successfully create the pivot table. When working with pivot tables, it's important to note that the pivot table analyze and design tabs in the ribbon only appear when you're clicked into the pivot table. When you click out of the pivot table, they disappear. Keep that in mind as we work through each of these mistakes. Here we have a pivot table populated with some data in rows. And pivot tables default to condensed format, which puts all the data in one column. This default format does limit some of the benefits of pivot tables. To switch around the pivot table format, click Design, Report Layout, and show in tabular form. I find that this layout lets you inspect your data better and also lets you calculate unique values. So in this data, we have several repeat customers, but in tabular format, the pivot table consolidates those customers into unique values. And to count the unique values, you can either eyeball this or highlight the data and see in the lower right hand corner the count. Or if you have a lot of data, you can use the count a formula to count the number of non-blank cells and return the unique value count. I want to take a short break and ask that you click that subscribe and notification bell if you're enjoying this video. When you subscribe, it helps me out to know that I'm on the right track and making valuable videos for you all. Thanks so much and let's get back to it. When you drag data into the values section, Excel defaults to include this sum of or count of and often you want to remove those words. Here you can use the find and replace menu to find sum of and replace it with blank. And when you click replace all, you will see that Excel has removed some of and only the field name remains. One downside to tabular format is Excel defaults to include subtotals in your pivot table, but you can remove them by right clicking in the column and unchecking subtotal. You can also do this using keyboard shortcuts by pressing the right click button and then selecting B. Working with dates can be challenging in a pivot table. Here we're gonna drag order date into rows and Excel defaults to showing month and day. And you can expand to show day by clicking this green plus sign here. If you want to display a different element of the date, you can do so by clicking group selection. And here I'm gonna select years and I'm gonna unselect days. And when I click okay, Excel now displays months and years instead of days and months. If this video has been helpful, then you're gonna like the companion spreadsheet that I've linked to in the description. The spreadsheet recaps all the mistakes that we covered in this video and gives step-by-step -step instructions for fixing them. It also provides data for you to practice with so you can get better with pivot tables. It's an awesome resource, so check that out in the description below. Thank you for tuning in. Click subscribe and that notification bell so we can stay in touch. Let me know in the comments, what was your pivot table mistake? If you learned something, press thumbs up and I will see you next time.